Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Pixelate Pickaxe. I'm Nathan, also known as the Ajax, and tonight we're going to be looking at Mr. Little Brick's house. His little house in Yay. New Wells Town. Hello, Mr. Little Brick. Hello. So, uh, the, and with this new style of showing off creations, I'm going to keep quiet. I'm just going to be the camera guy, and we'll just let uh, Little Brick give us a tour. Okay. Um, there's not much to it, but let's go in. As you can see, this house is called the Electric Bungalow. Um, if you go on TV Tropes a lot, you might catch the reference there. And also, bronies only. Yay. And we're just gonna go inside and... Just basic stuff here. Got a little tree, got a table to eat at, got bookshelves. And uh, not much to say about the design, I just kind of went with what I liked. The sandstone I thought was nice. Uh, let's see, what else is there to talk about? It's not really much, it's just a really simple house. Um, we can go down to the basement. Now, if you have any comments, just feel free to pitch in, because I'm just kind of... All right. Yeah. All right. I like the use of furnaces as a decoration. Yeah. Um, I was just kind of derping around in um, creative mode, and I came up with that, and I really, really liked how it looked, so I just started using it in all my stuff. I've actually got it all over the place in the XP grinder, um, so when that comes out, you'll be seeing this a lot. Yep. Don't you get freaked out by, so like, a creeper, like, staring back. at you all the time? Yeah, when you wake up. I like watching you while you sleep. <laughs> so you done looking around down here? Yep. Okie dokie, let's send back upstairs. And if you just want to take another look around here... Take it all in. Take yeah. it all in. All right. Yeah, I'm supposed to be going to bed soon, so we'll wrap this up. Um, out here, I've just got a little garden with a pumpkin and melon and some sugar cane. Um, there's no melons here yet. And that's basically the whole thing. Not very much to it, just a little quaint little abode. Very nice. It's uh, in one way, it's kind of funny to see you go from your your dome, your floating dome on Wellstown Classic, to this tiny little house. But actually, I'm quite reminded of the house that you had on inside your dome. You know, very small, very uh, simple. So you basically have a very similar house, just without the dome. I mean, that seems pretty accurate. Yep. Um, I don't know, this, this kind of shape just keeps on appearing in all the houses I make. I do want to try something a little more, I don't know, Victorian or um, just something, a different shape mm -hmm. at some point. It definitely reminds me of like a, a, a 1950s kind of, or 1960s or 70s, you know, just like kind of a nostalgic type house. Very small, quaint, homey. I like the uh, detail of the uh, television array antenna on top. Actually, that's supposed to be a lightning rod, but it didn't turn out so well. Oh, I see. No, it, it pretty much looks like you're trying to get three channels. Yeah, the only channel I need is the hub. Boot. Well, very cool. This is uh, the first of many houses that we'll be checking out on the server. I thought we'd start with something... You know, from a classic veteran server member and a good example of a house that we have 
Uh, and uh, in future episodes, you'll be seeing all these houses eventually at some point and more. Hope you guys enjoy it. And we'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Bye.